What's going on y'all? Hey, we got a cool gear review today. It's not a Stratocaster or a Telecaster. It's not even a guitar amp. Hey, don't go anywhere. My Christian friends, you're going to want to see this. And my songwriting friends, be sure to subscribe because you're going to want to catch part two next week. What's going on y'all? Welcome to the channel. Ray here with Second Chance Rise. And the channel is more than just our music, but a ministry as well as tips and re on recording and mixing, as well as gear reviews. Hey, if any of that content interests you, make sure you hit that subscribe button and like the video and ring that bell for future notifications. Hey, this week we got something pretty unusual. It's not any music gear. It's something that I cherish very much. Got this last November. I looked for a long time for one of these, probably for over 10 years, and I finally found one. But it's actually a leather Bible cover, and I cherish this. I, got, I looked for one for, I bet you, 10 years. I kind of found those ones you'd kind of call pleather or, or kind of vinyl, and I would go through one of those in just about a year and a half, and they'd kind of wear the zippers out or wear the holes out of them. But I found an item from Colonel Littleton. It's their number one Bible cover. And I'm going to show it to you. It's made out of American buffalo leather. It's um, very, very durable. Matter of fact, when um, you'll see here by the uh, by the straps that just claps on, very heavy duty. You can see the grain. Now, one thing that I like here too, as I'm opening this up, you can see that there was no. It's very limber. There was no break-in period on this. And when you open it up, what I like is this actually comes with a notepad here on the right, and I'm going to show you a little bit here in a minute because I do this a little bit different than the way it came. Um, it also comes with a um, with this registered pocket journal. They call it their number 28R journal. Now, I don't leave this in my Bible for my songwriting friends. I'm going to show you what uh, I do with this in a few on the next episode of the video, okay? You're not going to want to miss this, the songwriting friends, for that. Now, one of the things that we do here is... Um, you can configure this on their Bible several different ways. I like it in the middle. I can open it up when I'm at church. I've got my notes that I can write here on my, on my, on my side, on my notepad. A lot of times I'll get Wednesday's Word, maybe inspirational. I'll write down some verses of something I might want to do on a Wednesday's Word. Works out very well. Now, what I do is this, honestly, this is probably maybe the only thing that I didn't like about, about this setup is this notepad here. It's got these little metal, metal tabs here, you see. And that was kind of wearing a little bit of hole right here on top of my Bible. That's the only thing that I don't like about it. Um, now, all the rest is where on the Bible was, Bible was already worn before this. Now, but what I do, as you can see here, is, is I pull this out, and I keep this tucked away underneath here. So when I shut it, there's no, there's no uh, nothing to wear on top of that Bible. And then when I get to church, or if I'm in a Bible study or studying at home, I just pull it out, and I slip it back in over here. There's a place for your pencil. You know, right here, a pen. I usually keep a pen and I, or a highlighter right there. And um, that really has, has worked out very well for me. Now, I'll, t I'll tell you something else is when, when musicians come in the studio, and I have this Bible here always in the studio with me where I do my devotions, and sometimes on the couch back there where you see I do my Wednesday's Word and my songwriting journal, this whole studio, which is about a 20 by 20, so many times smelled just like leather. I don't know how long it'll continue to do that. I hope forever. But I've had this since last November, so about uh, about eight months. I got it for my birthday. These aren't cheap. Um, they're, they're relatively expensive as far as Bible covers. Um, I'll leave a link down in the description so you can check out the product and, and check out many more. Now, he makes another one that your Bible is, is completely covered all the way around. This one, you know, does have the edges open, which doesn't bother me a bit. I like the way this does because I can open it up and then I have me a writing surface right there too. So really, really have enjoyed it. This is top quality stuff. Um, you won't be disappointed in it. And, uh, and I hope this is some use for you. If you've been looking for a good Bible cover, uh, I think, you know, you might want to definitely check this out. We're not sponsored by them. We don't get a penny off this. I just wanted to share this with you because I looked for so many years for a, a nice leather Bible cover. Even had to try to uh, even try to get a few people to actually custom make me one and couldn't find it. So, hey, hope this is helpful to you. Hope that you have a great week and God bless you and keep looking up.